after cleaning the head, um, pressure wash it and with a razor blade just clean the old gasket off completely so there's a nice flat surface for the new gasket to go on um, now it's time to get the valves out which I've already started as you can see I've already removed the springs of three of the inlet valves so I got the springs and retainers all lined up inlet side outlet so all on the magnet tray so it's not gonna go anywhere and just remove the spring um, sorry remove the valve and place it in order so now I'm gonna show you how I do the valves in this um, head right so I got myself a cheap generic valve spring compressor kit of eBay I'll put the link down in the description comes with different sizes for different valves and just a generic arm with uh, threading rods so you're going to choose the size that you need that fits over the valve retainer which is this little plate here and so that you can take the keepers out Keepers are these little pieces here. So this is the right size for me, fits right over the valve and gives me enough space so that I can remove the retainers. On the other side, just use a good size that will fit oh, there you go that will fit over the valve just like so and it will keep the valve from coming out so actually I'm going to use this one right so first thing you want to do is find a position where you can fit the tool over well first will be to prepare the tool and you want to find a position where the you can slide the tool over the head so, just trying to give you a better view. That's this valve I want to put the tool over. So, just slide it over, place it on the valve, just like so. Align it with the valve retainer on the other side. So, if you see in there, just try to align it as best as possible, just like so, on the center of the valve, and on the other side, align it with the center of the valve retainer then all you gotta do is compress it gently no rush take your time and then using a pick you want to remove the 
keepers and place them safely in order just very gently and do the tool Once the tool is out far enough, all you gotta do is get the retainer and the springs out. And just the way you take him out, you're gonna flip him and place them in a tray, the same orientation. So now all we gotta do is push the valve out, just like so. I just gotta do the other four. You and me were meant to be in the great outdoors. Alright guys, so this is all the time I have for tonight, uh, it's nearly 11 o'clock in the evening, um, so I need to get some rest and I will catch back on this tomorrow where I'm going to remove the uh, seals themselves, um, we'll clean these valves, they're full of carbon and uh, we'll place new seals and place the valves back into place. The next day. Welcome back to another day working on the XJ750 head. So, off camera, I had a little bit of time to start working on this cylinder head, and um, as you've seen previously got all the valves out laid down um, on the magnet tray safe and out the way today uh, I've been back working on it and literally you can see the difference from one to another I got myself a soft brush well this one broke already but I got spares and very gently what I've been doing is just cleaning the carbon. So these are the ones I haven't touched yet, especially this one. Um, this one is nearly finished and this one is pretty much finished. And you can see just how much carbon it's on, on the head, um, on the valves as well the exhaust port, the intake ports, um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time and I'm gonna try to clean it as best as possible before I flip the head around and I start picking these little seals out. So once I get these seals out, well, once I get it clean with all the exhaust ports, um, and the tops there or the recesses I will change the valve stem seals just gonna crack on and I'll show you the results in just a second all 
All right, guys, so after a lot of scrubbing, and I mean a lot, uh, I must have spent at least an hour doing this. Let me show you the results. This is how it came out, or uh, what I managed to do. And I am quite pleased with the result. Uh, it's not 100%, but it's good enough for the purpose. There we go, we got a little bit of light. So you can see better. Right, but the work doesn't end here. And uh, my next task will be to uh, clean these valves. There you see it. So, they're really nasty and dirty. And uh, I'm just gonna brush him off with a wire wheel. Uh, after that, I will sit him back into their uh, place, the exact same place where I took him off. And I'm gonna use this little paste. Um, and using this little tool here, what, what this does, it creates a bare seal when the valve is shut this is not a performance engine so what it's done is good enough for for the application uh, is how it would come from the factory um, although if you're working on a performance engine your next step would be to polish the ports not only clean them but polish them and the way you would do that, you would work out, uh, work down or up um, sanding paper until you get a mirror polish finish. Um, what that does, it helps with a air, the air fuel mixture to flow better and the exhaust gases and creates a better performance for your engine. If you'll be working on one of these two, either this one or this one, yes, it's, it is well worth it to polish your heads. Um, but on a 750XJ, unless you're going to take it to the track, uh, the time that it takes to achieve a good result um, is not worth it. Um, but it's clean, um, the valves will be seated properly now and the valve stem seals will be changed so no more oil leaks. next day right another day different shirt and um, it's way too late last night when I um, look at the watch or the clock <laughs> and um, I couldn't carry on with this so today lapping valves things you're gonna need a lapping valve tool it's nothing more than a stick with uh, suction cups on the ends it's just different sizes and you're gonna need uh, valve lapping paste. Uh, this is from Abro, Abro. Uh, it's grinding paste, it's all it is. And it's got the fine and the coarse. So I already done a couple of them. Uh, right. I've already done a couple of this um, inlet ones. And now I'm going to show you 
uh, well, I'm gonna finish them up, finishing them up, and show you how you do it. So first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna stick this um, suction cup into it. As you see, it's just stuck in it. You're gonna put it into place. You're gonna get a little, little, tiny bit of paste. Doesn't need much. And you're gonna place it, the paste, around the valve uh, where it sits on the valve seat. And all you gotta do, just grind it. Just simple as that. So this was the course um, paste. I'm gonna do the course uh, paste on the other three and then I'm gonna switch for the fine paste and I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them because this one is finished already. Alright, so once you have all uh, eight valves done with a coarse uh, paste, you're just gonna get a rag, a rag, a tissue, piece of paper, uh, something clean to remove the coarse paste off. So, just like so. Just use your suction cup, pull the valve out. See, just clean up the valve. And you can see, let me try to show you. You see the shiny part is where the paste is cutting um, a new seal into the valve seat. So once you're done with the coarse side, I'm gonna switch to the fine paste. And repeat the same process. That is it. Very simply, um, use the paste to lap the valves, and this is the result you should you should get. Nice polished ring all the way around, around the same size all around, um, and the same goes on the cylinder head. If you see, there's a nice ring all around on both valve seats so that is the valves lapped and is how you lap valves so now all we gotta do is flip the ball uh, the um, block around or the head around and remove this little uh, seals inside there all you're gonna need is a needle nose pliers and you just want to grab the seal, give it a little twist, and pull it. Ooh. Just 
there you go just like so and you're gonna do that to all eight valves and so after the little seals are removed and because we've been playing with abrasives in the cylinder head you want to wash it again so that's what I'm going to do now that you have a nice clean and dry uh, cylinder head you probably want to wash the valves as well so now that the tedious part is done that is washing everything comes the fun part which is putting everything back together first thing you want to do is lay down everything um, in the right location so you're not trying to find parts and you want a socket that fits on top of the seal just like so so that you can push the seal back into place another thing you're gonna need is a straw just a party straw um, was a full straw just cut a piece off and I cut a slot on the end and this is so you can fit the straw onto the valve itself and then you can pinch the other side where you cut the slot, pinch it smaller so that you preserve the seal, so that very important seal that stops oil passing through. So I'm just gonna get going with this and get it done. So, you're going to place the straw on the valve You're going to get your seal And you're going to put a little bit of oil On the seal Just to help it This is just engine oil, uh, 10W40, that's all it is. Okay, so once you get the seal going down to its location, once it goes past the valve and is inside, you can then remove the straw and then with the socket place the socket on top of the uh, stem seal and just gently with a gentle rotation sit it in so again some oil on the straw and on the seal itself push it down remove the straw and with the socket give it a bit of a twist and you can feel it sitting
Now that you have all eight valve stem seals in place, you want to grab your springs. So this is exhaust, which is this side, number one. And to place both your springs and spring uh, retainer. And you want to grab your compressor tool again with the necessary bits. This position your head in a way that is comfortable for you uh, and is easy for you to access everything. I'm gonna compress the spring and with a pick or something that's narrow and sharp and possibly magnetic too if you can I also have a little pair of tweezers and you're just gonna position the keepers in their place once the keepers are in place just gently and uh, your compressor it can be a little bit um, fiddly but it's what you need to do so let me try to give you a better look all right so hopefully this will give you a little bit of a better look of what I'm doing so you're gonna grab your springs, two springs will go into that place, grab your keeper just like so, then your compressor, you place it on top of the spring keeper, um, spring retainer like so make sure everything is aligned then with the tweezers Remember this only goes one way and you'll see the taper on the retainer, hard to show on camera, but you're just gonna place the keepers right in there. You'll see it better from this side. Hopefully. There you go, just like so. And gently just undo your compressor. There you go. So guys, this is it. This is how you change your valve stem seals and you tap your valves um, and clean up your your head um, so the head is ready um, new seals uh, the shims 
uh, shims over bucket it's called um, are back in it uh, and is completely ready to reassemble on the engine so for today that's all I'm gonna do or for this episode is all I'm gonna do and join me next episode where I'm going to clean all this gunk and grime literally uh, gonna clean all of that and we'll reassemble the head onto the cylinder block so I hope you enjoy remember if you like the video give us a thumbs up um, subscribe that will be a great help for the channel will help me grow um, press that notification bell for more episodes and stay tuned stay safe hopefully this lockdown will be done and over with soon enough and uh, we'll be able to ride again so take it easy ride safe and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.